hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel so today i'm super excited to bring you a review from the company magic fly i was so kindly reached out to by a representative from the company to do a review on a couple of products and one of the items that i chose was the 36 set of acrylic paint now i chose the acrylic paint but I think because of Black Friday and everything, maybe supplies were running low because I was told so. And I was sent acrylic pouring paint. And I have noticed that it is a bit of a difference. Um, this paint is a bit more runny than acrylic paint. Excuse my hands. I have paint everywhere um, because I have started to swatch them already. But these are similar to acrylic paint in that they are very vibrant and whatnot but if you can hear that it sounds a bit runnier than the regular acrylic paint i think is a bit thicker so that is the main difference that i noticed and these are 2.3 fluid ounces or 60 mls of paint that you get and let me tell y'all the safety seal that is on these is serious like i tried to open it like a neanderthal and like poke it and i got paint everywhere so you can just peel the lid off um that's sealing the paint in don't do what i did so these are available on the magic fly website now because of black friday like i mentioned some things may be sold out because i could not find this particular set on there to give you a price point but i found something similar and i will pop it on the screen so that you can see what kind of sale that they're having right now and the 36 set comes in this really huge box and all the colors are some kind of light fast as you can see here that's what the plus signs mean and light fast just means the rate at which it will fade if in the sunlight you know if you're doing a painting or a picture or something and you hang it up and you don't want it to fade so everything is pretty much a good light fast rating and then this lets you know the opacity so if it's a complete white it out square that means that it's really opaque and then of course if you see half and half that means it's not so opaque so these are all the colors but we will swatch some out and you do get some metallics and in my set i have five titanium whites and i have two brilliant reds and i have two mars blacks don't know if that's indicative of every set but that's what i received in mine so let's go ahead and show you some of the paints Okay, I forgot to say that I will leave the link to their website in the description box below and that way you can visit it and in the box, if I open it up, this is the little tray that the paints come in and there's snug as a bug in here. I had no problems with any of the paint opening or spilling. Like I said, the seal was super tight on there and I had no issues whatsoever. Now a couple are missing out of here because we will swatch them but yeah like I said I have five titanium whites because you know I guess you need a lot of whites I have two Mars blacks because you know I guess you need a lot of black and two reds and I guess red because it's a base for mixing and since this is acrylic pouring paint I guess you do that a lot I don't know I am Jon Snow when it comes to anything related to some pouring paint I've never done acrylic pouring but I figured maybe perhaps I can still use this in my coloring or I can use it in my nail art so I think that it has um a couple of good uses and their website is chock full of so many different craft paints different pencils um, just a bunch of crafty things and yeah you should really go take a look on their website because they have fun things on there they have watercolor paints just so much so I think that this can have a multitude of uses and I will stop yapping and go ahead and get to a bit of the comparisons okay so ignore my baby wipes and whatnot so here I have apple barrel acrylic paint matte acrylic paint and I'm just going to pour some out so you can just see the thickness so if I zoom in a bit on my little scratch paper I don't know if you'll be able to tell the difference how thick it is just how it sounds like you can barely hear it when I shake it up and if I take a magic fly paint and I just pour some out it's super runny because again it's a pouring paint and if I shake it you can hear that 
can't really hear this one so that lets you know the thickness varies between the two and it is this is the apple barrel paint here and then this is the pouring paint so I don't know if you can tell the viscosity I feel like a scientist I don't know if you can tell the viscosity but it is a bit more um, runny less thick than the acrylic paint is so there you go okay just because it's less thick doesn't mean it will not have its uses so here I have swatched out plenty of the colors and as you can see they are super vibrant ignore that I kept putting my finger in it um when I was lifting the paper to bring it to my desk but yeah they are super vibrant and what I did here was just take a glob of it on my brush and then just place it on the paper because me trying to paint out a little shape it was not showing the product very well and I think it's a really good product um it's just I'm not used to paint being not as thick as acrylic paint so it took me a try to get it right to be able to showcase these for you guys but yeah you do get some metallics in there like here's the metallic blue here's the metallic purple and I think that you do get a lot of blues and you get well not a lot but you get a decent amount of blues you get a couple of purples so now I'm on to doing the rest of my pinks so now I'm going to take rose pink which is this one here and I'm just going to go ahead and glob some of my brush so how I did it the second time swatching this I just dip my brush in the paint get a good little glob going and then just put it on the paper because like I said the first time of me showing this was not looking so hot for y'all and um I want to make it nice so yeah this will be rose pink so I'll go ahead and write my rose pink down so yeah I'm pretty much done swatching everything um because I wanted to get majority of it done so here is silver gray and I'm just going to glob some down. So my paint may have dried up actually um, on my paintbrush because I let that sit for a second um, before I came over here to film. So here is the silver gray. Not always spell gray with an E, although it's an A in American, but whatever. Um, I don't know why I do that. So here is metallic silver. So these paints, I think... Are really nice um, I can see myself using them for backgrounds and my coloring I'm going to try and see if I can use some for my nail art because y'all know I'm into that um, metallic silver so I'll just see how it fares but I think for my coloring I'm definitely going to have to do a couple of coats for backgrounds or something that I'm trying to make opaque so here you can see the seal and like this seal is something serious don't poke at it because then you'll just get paint everywhere you can just simply peel it back which took me you know a second to figure out excuse my arm going over yeah you could just peel it off I was trying to be a brute and open it like like I said like a Neanderthal and that wasn't working but anywho Zeus let me put the top back so the metallic colors I really do like they're nice and shimmery like a metallic should be and I'm not disappointed by that at all so this is metallic bronze here is metallic gold so yeah take a gander at their website because they do have quite a bit so this seal was actually kind of funky that's the first time I've encountered that with all the paints that I received but still nothing spilled out the seal is just a bit popped right here but that's totally fine because nothing spilled out but yeah take a look at their website because they have a lot of good things on there especially right in time for the holidays for the craft during your life and I think it'll prove to be some fun times for any of their items that you see on there that you may like so now all I have left to do is two more colors I'll be right back so the two colors I have left to do are the Mars black and the titanium white. We all know what white looks like, so I don't think I need to do that. And then the black, you can go ahead and open the black. And it looks pretty opaque, but I'll see in a second. 
I'm just going to take my brush, glob it down. So the black, you know, I always want black and white. You can never have enough black and white. So the Mars black looks pretty legit. So I'm just going to go ahead, write that. And then I do have titanium white. And just for my sanity, <laughs> titanium white. I'll write down. So I again, like I said, I did get five of these, two of these uh, black ones, and two brilliant reds. So what I'm going to do is put times two for the black, and then times five for the white. So I know how many I have. So this is pretty much what the paint is looking like. Again, the website is imagic.com, um, and I will leave the link in the description box below. I'm so grateful that they decided to reach out to me for a review and i hope you have enjoyed seeing the colors up close and personal now some of them well all of them are still wet, wet or damp they haven't completely dried but the metallics i really am a fan of they are really cool and i like the pastel colors of the neons and the pinks and the purples lilac colors so that's really cool and yeah i'm super appreciative and grateful that i was chosen to be reached out to for a review and like I said, check out their website. It will be left in the description box below. And I hope you all are staying safe out there, as happy as you can be. And I'll see you all in my next video. Take care.